You heard me right. I was the one who coded Rat's horror dimension. <gasps> oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I really hate this. Well, at least the world gen of it. The pool rooms that I crafted for Rat, I think is some of the most complex work that I've done so far. But it's not the most complex I have planned. And I figured it might be neat or helpful to go through how I did all of it. So let's start at the beginning. When Rat reached out to me. You don't watch my videos? I thought you watched my videos. My bad. Okay, okay my bad. No, I, I, my I, bad, I, I do, my I, bad. My he came to me because of my mod, The Corners, which adds these liminal space dimensions. And Rat wanted me to do something similar. They already had an idea of how they wanted to tackle the world gen, but I had an idea of my own. So I got to planning. Let's first start off with how we're gonna make the generation infinite, since that's something that we can't avoid. The Corners uses a few different techniques of making the generation infinite. Take for example, the communal corridors, or at least the old version of it. We would have each room randomly be placed in a grip. That's it, just a random room. And so long as each room has these two sides be a wall and these other two sides be open, no matter what room goes next to what other room, it will always make sense. Now, this method is flawed in numerous ways. Mainly, there's no guarantee that you'll have a path forwards. So why don't we look at something where you do guarantee a path forwards? The Hori Crossroads is really just a big long bridge. So you have to know where each room comes from and where it's going essentially creating a maze. To do this, I simply break the world up into grids, and each grid is made up of cells. Each cell can have a link to any other cell next to it. When a chunk tries to generate, it goes through every position along the X and Z axis, and wraps its coordinate down to the nearest grid. It checks if a maze has already been generated there, and if not, it runs a maze generation algorithm. Then it checks if the position is at the corner of a cell, and if so, generate the cell. Doing things like this allows us to have at least some context of the world around us. However, it's not perfect, since you still have to make adjacent grids line up. However, at large enough scales, it's sufficient to just poke holes in the middle of each grid so that they always connect no matter what. So, to summarize, for Rat's pool rooms dimension, we're going to be splitting up the world into grids, running some maze generation algorithm, and then placing the corresponding rooms in each cell. However, things are never as easy. See, Rat and Lux had a majority of the rooms be larger than what would fit in a single cell, so I would have to modify the maze generation algorithm to account for this. First, we look at each room and which sides have doors where, and label them accordingly. Then, for our algorithm, we pick a random room and try placing it at a random location. We check to make sure it fits, and if it does, we place it. We do this as many more times as we can. If a room is too close to the edge, we toss it. If a room is too close to another room, we toss it. And, well, by tossing it, I mean move it to the corner of the maze and try every position until it finds one that does fit. And it turns out the maximum number of rooms that can fit in any grid with these rules is approximately one-ninth the number of cells in the grid. Then, for each of those rooms, we mark on the maze if there's a door there. And then afterwards, we just fill in the rest of the cells with a simple maze generation algorithm. Then, to make things connect to every grid around it, we just simply connect every other room on the edge to the grid next to it. And there you have it, your very own pool rooms dimension. Now, there are some more finer, intricate details, like this technically is really only the generation for the first two levels, and there's also extra stuff to make the first two levels connect, and the third level is a completely different algorithm, which also has to connect with the other two levels. And, well, connecting all three was a nightmare. But I just wanted to go over how I did the main thing, which was the level one algorithm. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and you find yourselves motivated to do your own crazy world gen things. I know I certainly love doing it. I mean, I've been working on the corners for years and it ain't stopping. So go out and have fun. Make some world gen stuff. Join my Discord server. I'd love to see what you have to make. Thank you. Bye-bye.